Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Sahabi from California Dental Group. Uh, I'd like to uh, talk to you about what is a gum abscess. I have a, a short uh, video that I'd like to demonstrate what is a periodontal abscess or a gum abscess. Now, if you look at this picture, there is a space between your gums and your tooth. That is the area that is usually you know, if some food and some bacteria and some injury that happen to be in that area, it may cause uh, a periodontal abscess. Now, we will uh, show you uh, what are the symptoms of periodontal abscess. Of course, pain and uh, from biting or tapping. If you have loose teeth, if you have swollen gum, shiny red to blue gum around your tooth, uh, you start having per periodontal abscess or gum abscess. Now, these abscesses are usually uh, around your wisdom teeth. Now, a lot of people that I know that I see this very often is around their wisdom teeth. Uh, when it's partially impacted, the gum starts to swell up around that area, and that's a periodontal abscess. Now, if you have some injury or if you have food impaction in between your teeth that also causes uh, uh, periodontal or gum abscess now if you see that area between your uh, gum and the tooth the bacteria starts to build up if there is food impacted in that area the saliva cannot go in there and wash it off so it becomes uh, infected. Now, if you have uh, uh, something like uh, a, a cut or an injury in that area, the bacteria can easily infect that. Now, that food that gets stuck there, it uh, avoids the saliva to go in there and wash that infection off. So it be starts to swell up, if you can see. It makes a swelling on your gum, and you start having pain. Now, sometimes you, it becomes like a boil around uh, in your gum area, and as you know, when you touch it, it's very painful, and that can actually damage the bone surrounding that area. So it's extremely important as soon as you get something like that in your mouth, let your doctor know. Now we do a thorough examination. We take some pictures and we measure the, the pocket depths in that area to see how deep is the issue. Now the solution for that is very simple. Now we have to uh, find out what's going on. One of the things that we usually do is we do thorough cleaning in that area that caused the gum infection. Make sure there's nothing stuck there. We, uh, uh, if needs to be, we can give you some antibiotics to take for a while. Um, sometimes we give you some antibiotic rinses to rinse out and control the infection that uh, cause you know that caused the gum abscess and then basically it's extremely important to uh, f stop it at the earliest stages so it doesn't cause any more damage than uh, what it does so uh, if sometimes we can prevent these sometimes we can't Sometimes we had situation that you are at the movies and eating popcorn and the pieces of that popcorn get stuck in between your teeth and causes, uh, uh, you know, periodontal abscess or gum abscess. You try to floss it, you try to brush it, it doesn't come off. So just go to your dentist and it's very simple. Sometimes we may need to put some anesthetic there to make you comfortable before going in there and removing the food debris. So we have more of these videos on our website. For uh, uh, I want to thank you for your uh, attention to this one. And uh, uh, if you have uh, any, uh, if you want to know about more about these videos, please visit my website. Thank you.